You remember when this toy line was alive and Funko actually cared? Yeah, that was nice. I'm really glad the only Funko Five Nights line that was exciting seems to be dead. From Funko and their Five Nights at Freddy's toy line, this is the Funko Snaps Montgomery Gator and Glamrock Chica. Now, I've said this before a few times, the Funko Snaps were one of my favorite things Funko ever tried to do with FNAF, and it sucks that the toy line is probably just dead now, which means that, yet again, unless they do wave to a fight line, I guess the only cool thing going on with Five Nights right now is the U2s, but even still, I'm excited to finally get these figures, and hey, hopefully this toy line is going to end on a bang. This is what it looks like when you get the figures out of the box. If you do not know, the idea with snaps is that you snap them together. You can put them in any way, shape, or form you'd like. So if I wanted to, I could take Monty here, put on the legs, boop, put on his head, boop. You can see that he has his endoskeleton underneath, but then I can pop on a face plant, and there, now I have a very cute version of Monty. But I get an alternate face plant, so do do do. Put that on, and now I can have a different look for Monty. Or maybe, boop, boop, maybe I just want to have a Monty with Chica legs and a Chica head, but I'll still use a Monty face. That's the gimmick of this line, is you can mix and match, make your own animatronics. It's really fun. It's a cute little gimmick, and guess what? It's great for kids. They love to make their own characters, so why not make a toy line that lets them do it? But that's getting ahead of ourselves. Why don't we talk about these characters as their own individuals first? Monty is a bit of a cursed design. Even good toy lines have a hard time representing Monty all that well, to the point where I'd honestly argue he still hasn't had a good figure yet. This snaps, Monty? I mean, it's fine. There's still something about it, though, that doesn't really jive. I think it's something about how detailed his mohawk is. It doesn't really fit with snaps. Even still, I think the figure looks good. I love his glasses. I love his big, toothy grin with the gap in between. And then you can see we have articulation at the head, articulation at the waist, and we can go front to back at the arms with a little bit of side to side because they're ball joints. They even remembered Monty's tail back here, but that's not removable. So that's all well and good. Alongside that, we do get Monty's guitar, which if you want, you'll just put it in his arm or his hand like that. You're not gonna get him in like a playing pose, but it is kind of cool that he came with an accessory. I suppose if you want, you could have him like use it as a weapon maybe? There we go, <laughs> that kind of works. And then we have an alternate faceplate for Monty. This is supposed to be damaged Monty, like basically after you have your run-in with him at Gator Golf, Monty Golf. Is it Gator Golf or Monty Golf? I don't remember. Oh, I actually kind of like that. I, It's supposed to go like that, but if you just take it a little and it just looks a little bit more messed up, I like that more. Actually, I'm trying to think about it. There, the only game accurate version of Monty post Gator Golf. That's what Snaps has given you today. Next up is Glamrock Chica, and much like Monty, I think people have a hard time making Chica as a figure, mostly just because the design is really weird when you think about it, but I think this is decent. I mean, it's very cheapified, it doesn't really look like Chica in the game at all, but it works, and I do like the overall design of the figure. You know, you have swivel with the head, ball joints the arms, same articulation, but it's very poppy. I love the colors on Chica, and overall it's a good, simple, like simplified design. You, of course, get Chica's guitar, and you get the alternate faceplate, which, let's pop the face off, boop. You can see there's the endoskeleton, and then, boom, it's supposed to be beakless Chica. That actually looks really good. I actually like that a lot. That's so weird to me that for both of these, the one I prefer is the damaged faceplate. Huh, I guess it goes to show you, if Security Breach had good damaged uh, animatronic designs. I really do hope this toy line's not dead, but at the same time, Funko just doesn't manage any toy line all that well, so we'll have to wait and see. Chances are this is the last figures that we'll get, which really sucks because we never even got Roxanne. Like, forget Music Man or Sun or Moon, we didn't even get all four of the main ones. I would have loved a Roxanne in this style, but even still, these two look really good. They're at least going to go with Vanny and Freddy pretty well. And it's a good little last hurrah for the snaps. A good, underrated Five Nights toy line 
that never really got to have the mainstream acclaim they should have gotten because at the end of the day, these figures are all right.